What's up? I'm adult, somehow married dude, Dan Umphan. This is the Doomcast. Today I'm going to unbox a whole bunch of toys. We're going to do the Marvel Legends uh, third Guardians of the Galaxy wave. Uh, this one has a Build-A-Figure of Palm Clementif's Mantis. This is the third Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy wave. That is insane. Three Star-Lord figures. Did you even know that he has that many costume changes? I didn't. All right. <laughs> Who do we have first? Um, uh, this is X Nilo. He was from uh, Jonathan Hickman's New Avengers series. Like a force of creation. He just creates stuff out of nothing. X Nilo. Like, I'm so meticulous about the way that I open them up. An absolute apostate in the world of toy collecting. Taking them out! Oh. You got Palm Clementif's arm. Oh, ho, yeah! It's Tim Curry and Legend meets Goldmember. I can't, I can't believe they made this character of all things. This guy starts off as, uh, like a bad guy, basically. And then he ends up helping the Avengers with a bunch of other creatures, like... What else do we have here? It's Death's Head 2 from uh, the uh, United Kingdom. He's a pretty much almost exclusively British-used character, but they, they, they made him in a six-inch action figure and sold him in America for 20 bucks. See, this guy's huge, and he's, like, heavy. What is this, this thing? Like, this gun arm this. blade thing. This is insane. I don't even really know that much about this dude, but this figure is cool as shit. Just a second, I have to blow you up. Oh, what? Warlock from the Guardians of the Galaxy comic series. This is great. I love this. So Adam Warlock is, uh, like, a space wizard, which is a cool combination of two things anyway yeah, again i love these kirby dot like accessories things like the power things it comes with an extra head for when he turns into uh the magus and if you don't know what the magus is uh well um you might end up having a chance to find out in the Third. guardians of the galaxy movie who else is next i summon oh hey nebula movie version of nebula which is amy pond which basically um, removes from her all of her Amy Pondness. Got the cyborg arm. Oh no, I don't like that at all. It's a good movie likeness, and I that this fused shoulder thing. I'm not sure that I can get down with this because then I can't raise her arm. Oh shit! What the hell? Parts falling all over the place. Not for children or small pets. This little this blaster little... hand that she's got, this other accessory that could go for... Uh, Mackinoid hand, it could go... Anybody. A little blaster pistol, like half a Star-Lord gun. It's all right. It comes with one of Mantis's legs. All right, who's next? Whew. This is Gamora from the movie. Comes with a couple swords and a rad gun and a piece of Mantis's leg. Sword accessory that fits right here. Hmm. Movie figures. You can't get anything to, like, just fit in their hand. Ah. You know, not my favorite, to tell you the truth. I like Gamora a lot, but just the, the movie sculpts, sometimes you can't get stuff to stay in their hands anyway. And she comes with one of these. Two left. Who else? It's Rocket and uh, Groot. And a big chunk of uh, Mantis's torso. Whew. Man, see, the thing is, most of the movie characters are pretty stiff. I don't know if Rocket's gonna be. Well, Groot has literally no joints whatsoever, and he's very tiny. That's gonna be easy to lose. Rocket's got a little pivotable ball joint on his tail. The first Rocket figure did not have that. Yes. I have more than one Rocket Raccoon action figure. Like, where do you put Baby Groot if he doesn't stand? Anyway, Rocket's pretty cool. That's a pretty good Rocket figure. It comes with uh, Mantis's chest piss. And last but not least, it's Star Lord, the third incarnation of Star Lord, with a scarf. That's what's different about him. 
wearing a scarf. Did Microsoft tell them that they can make a, a Zoom? But he doesn't have any headphones. I can't even get that to fit either. He's got the little gears shift shirt. It's not bad. You can have like kind of a chilling out Star Lord. So he can keep the guns inside of his jacket or he can just have, you know, wait a minute. They just straight up didn't even make these hands to hold guns. This doesn't even look like Chris Pratt at all. It looks like Luke Perry is Archie's dad in uh, Riverdale. So we've got Mantis's torso, legs, head, and arms. I will build me the perfect woman! The likeness is really good, but she's still got this upper limit on shoulder rotation. I'm not trying to make her like do push-ups or like burpees or something like that. Like I just, I don't like having limits, God damn it. Like, it's kind of nice. It at least lets her like kind of do some poses that I didn't expect she'd probably be able to. Just, yeah, you know, if you're gonna have a figure that you're gonna try and make look really natural, you might as well be able to make him do something that looks natural. I do this for fun. What do you collect? Debt? All right, everybody, that's the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Wave 3. The Build-A-Figure was Mantis uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Well, this was great. I still have a little bit of problems with movie figures and the way that they pose, but can't argue with the likenesses. like those a lot. Uh, so this was a lot of fun. Find something that you enjoy a lot and uh, do it. Do the hell out of it and don't apologize for it. I know this is stupid, but you know what? It makes me happy. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you later.